Hello everyone, this is Ha Ting Tian. This video we are learning 3.1 vectors. Uh, in trigonometry, we have learned the vector is a quantity uh, has the both magnitude and the directions. For example, velocity is a, a vector. Uh, if I'm driving this direction, uh, so I drive 40 miles per hour. So this is my speed, this is my magnitude, and then I'm going to the east, this is my direction, and my mom is also driving to the east, but uh, he's uh, maybe riding her bicycle, and uh, she can ride uh, 10 miles per hour. So uh, her velocity is also a vector, it has a distance, which is going to the east, and uh, the magnitude or the speed is 10 miles per hour. And also the weight is also a vector. For example, if my cat, or yes, my cat, that's too big. So my cat is about 10 pounds. And uh, the direction of the weight is going down because the uh, gravity. And how about my dog, a big dog? So, he is maybe a little heavier than my cat, for example, is 30 pound. So also it has a direction going down because the gravity. And uh, you will see that the length of the, uh, so this line segment represents the magnitude or how many pound, how many pound. And you see that this is 10 pound and this one 30 pound is three times longer than the magnitude of 10 pound. Okay, let's move on. The vector can be moved uh, parallelly. So for example, this is my vector. I can move this vector parallelly. I can move it to here. They have the same direction and they have the same length. For example, they have the same length. And the P is an initial point. We can also say uh, this is the tail. We can say this is initial or this is a tail. And the Q point is the terminal. You can also say uh, this is the terminal point or head. Or head. The vector can be moved. Uh, can be moved. For example, if I'm driving my car uh, to the to the north from Houston, so my speed is, for example, 40 miles per hour. And uh, my friend is driving her car at New York. Also, she's driving her car uh, to the north, and she also has the same speed, 40 miles per hour. We have the same magnitude, 40 miles per hour. We are driving to the north, same direction. So we have the same uh, velocity or same vector. So the vector can be moved, but, but uh, parallelly moved. And uh, uh, how to describe a vector in the xy component form? Okay, so component form. Uh, one way to write a vector in co component form is vector v is equal to uh, the angle bracket a comma b. So where it, a is the x component, b is the y component. For example, if I have a vector, randomly draw one vector here to here, this is my initial point. This is my terminal point. So the initial point is, uh, so let's say this is P, this is Q. P is a point in the uh, parentheses, is two comma two, and the Q, the point is, uh, one, two, three, four, four comma, one, two, three, four, five, five. And how about the component form of the vector P, Q. So this symbol is the vector from the initial point P to terminal point Q. So how to describe this in the uh, component form? 
component form must use the angle brackets. Inside is the x value and the y value. So what is the x? So let's see this vector. So the x component is the length here. We say this is 2. And the, the y component, let's count 1, 2, 3. So um, the component form of the vector pq is 2, comma 3. And uh, how to find the 2, comma 3 if the two points p and q they are given? So we are using d a terminal minus uh, initial. So let's see what is a terminal. So the first uh, is the x component. Use the terminal 5 minus 2. Oh, sorry, I circled the wrong, the x. I'm pointing to the x and I'm circling the y. So use the terminal x minus initial x, which is 2. And then let's change the color. Use the terminal y minus terminal uh, initial y, which is 3. I found the 3. 2, comma 3 is my vector p, q. Okay, uh, so write p, q in component form and the graph, uh, graph p, Q. Some books called this is a, a position vector. What is a position vector? We know that the vector can be moved uh, anywhere so per, uh, parallelly. So we can move it, uh, put the initial point P to the 0, comma 0. So let's clear here. We can move the PQ to the uh, uh, initial point to the 0, comma 0. So let's use red color. So we have this one. This one, initial point at the origin, we call this uh, position vector. And also we can prove that PQ 2, comma 3, and the position vector also has the x component 2, y component 3. And if I put it in the position, uh, so at the origin, initial point at origin, is easier to identify what is the x, y component. Okay, let's move on. Adding uh, vectors. Now we have three vectors are given. Uh, can you find the the x, y component of these three vectors, uh, so u, v, w. So we can put u, v, w here. So u, vector u, is angle brackets, the x, comma, y. What is the x of the u? So u is, oh, the x value is 1, 2, 3. But you see, this direction is moving to the negative x direction. I cannot put positive 3. Uh, so I must put positive, no, sorry, negative 3 here because it's moving to the negative x direction. How about y's value? Going down 1, 2 unit. So going down, that means y's value is negative. So u is negative 3, comma negative 2. How about uh, v? So v, vector v, also is in the component form, is x comma y. Let's see, what is the x and the y's value for the v? So uh, v, the x value, yes, going to the positive x direction, we can put a 2 here, positive, and then going up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 2 comma 5 is the x, y component form of the vector v. How about a w? So let's see w. Vector w in the component form x comma y. So the x uh, from the initial, I'm moving to the left, 1, 2. Uh, that means negative 2 is my x component going up 1 unit. This is a positive one uh, in the y component. All right, how to find the u uh, vector u plus vector v? So if I'm looking for the vector u plus, okay, plus vector v, I just add the x component together. So we say x sub 1 plus x sub 2, and then comma y sub 1 plus y sub 2. I just add the x 
uh, and y together. So let's do the computation. So uh, u and v, so u and v, u plus v, uh, negative 3 plus 2, negative 3 plus 2. And the y's value is negative 2 plus 5. Do the computation. It is negative 1 comma positive 3. Okay, so how to graph it on the xy plane if I, I'm not only finding the uh, component form of the sum. I want to graph it. We have two methods to graph. First, I can move two vectors together. Uh, they can we can make the graph uh, the tail-to-tail -tail form. So let's move the V to the uh, place here. Okay, sorry. So V is horizontal is 2, vertical is 5. So we can do this. Okay, move, uh, move this one. So move, move the V to here. Uh, let's see. So one, two, three, four. No, it's not good. If I have a ruler, I can move it to better. So this is initial. This is terminal. Yes. Let's prove this is the the V one two. Yes, and then one two three four five. Yes, good job. And then let's move the u, so this is the v, and move the u head to head, uh, sorry, tail to tail with my v. So I can move this one, move my u here. So it's two and three, so three and two. Okay, move it parallelly. All right, and then we can construct a parallelogram. So making a parallelogram, so draw a parallel line with the V, and then parallel line with the U. So, okay. Okay. And the diagonal, this one is u vector u plus vector v so first we can move them together let the tail to tail and construct the parallelogram the diagonal is the sum of u and v this is the first method and also we can test if the component of the sum is negative one comma three so let's see we are coming uh starting from so this is the u plus v so the x component is negative one because it's going to the negative x direction and then go up one two three three unit yes it's negative three uh sorry negative one comma three this is the first method the second method we can use different color we still have the u and the v but we do not put posi uh, put them uh, tail to tail form. We will put them uh, uh, head to tail. So we can move our v. So let's say this time uh, we have our u vector u in the blue and the v put the v here parallelly. So these two vectors they have the position head to tail. You see here is head to tail. And then the sum of u plus v, now this is v, is the vector that is tail to tail, head to head. Okay, you can see the green one is tail to tail, head to head. This is a u plus v. And this one we proved is negative 1 comma 3. Okay, let's see next one. Oh, we spent too much time here. Let's move on. So we are looking for uh, the vector w plus vector v. So vector w plus vector v, we can sum up the x value in the x component. So we can, what is the w x value here? And the v w 
uh, x value is negative 2, positive 2. That's too much. So let's put uh, uh, negative 2 plus positive 2, and then 1 plus 5, so which is 0, 6. We can also graph it. So put the W, uh, this is a question mark, 2. Uh, this is a number, 2. Uh, w plus V. Let's put the V and the W together. So W is here. So this is W. If I'm a little bit lazy, I don't want to uh, move the W because when I'm moving, it makes me a lot of mistakes. So I just uh, uh, move the V uh, and W together. So this is 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, here. So this is the V. I move it par parallelly. So let's construct a parallelogram. So draw the line which is parallel to the uh, the vector v. No, it's not very parallel. Okay. Yes, this one is better. And then draw a line which is parallel to the w. Yes, this one is better. Then the di uh, diagonal. Let's use red. It is the sum of w and v. So this one, let's see, must be 0, 6. So x component is 0, y component is 6. Yes, it is. So I'm not going to use another way to solve it, uh, to graph it. Yeah, if you want to graph it in another way, uh, you can do this first. Uh, this is the W, this is W, for example, and then this is, two, three, four, five. this is V, okay, I shouldn't put it here, okay, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, okay, this is a V, so you will posit them, make them in the position of a, a head to tail, then I need to connect the tail and the head, so, uh, tail to head, this is a sum of the w and the v. And this one, the component form, xy component form is 0, 6. Okay, let's move on faster because we spent too much time here. Next part, we are looking for uh, u plus, I'm oh, sorry, minus w. What is the meaning of minus another vector? I can convert it to be the vector u plus negative w. And the negative w means uh, we have the w, uh, but uh, opposite direction. So this is w, let's erase this. This is the vector w, and then the, okay, uh, the negative w is the opposite direction. So this is negative w. It has the same length, but the opposite direction. Okay, so let's see what is u, what is the negative w. So when I have negative w, the xy component must be the opposite. So u is negative 3, comma, negative 2. And then what is the negative w? Negative w is the opposite of negative 2, positive 2. And then negative 1. So this is negative w. We have negative 3 plus 2, comma, negative 2 plus negative 1. And this one is negative 1, comma, negative 3. Uh, I'm not going to graph it. You must know how to uh, make your position of uh, u and uh, negative w. And next one, number four, is u plus v plus w. So what is a u? Negative 3, negative 2. And what is a v? Is 2, comma, 5. What is w? Is negative 2, comma, 1. So we can add all of the, the uh, all of the x together. We can all add all of the x together. 
you can also just add these two x together and then sum up with another x. So you can do step by step or you combine them together. If I sum up these two, I'm having x plus x, which is negative 3 plus 2, negative 1. Negative 2 plus 5 is positive 3. Then plus the w, negative 2 comma 1. Uh, this is negative 3 comma positive 4. Uh, okay, so how about the number 5? So we don't have enough space, but we can put number 5 here. Number 5 is v plus 2w. So v, uh, what is a v? So v is a vector uh, 2 comma 5. And what is 2 times vector w? So vector w is negative 2 comma 1. Uh, we just uh, enlarge the x, y component. So you can say distribute the 2. So we are going to have 2, 5 plus negative 4, 2. And then x plus x, y plus y, we are having negative 2, 7. Okay, let's move on. Find the magnitude of a vector. If vector... Uh, v is a comma b. The magnitude of that vector is the length of the a b or uh, the distance of the direction. So you should say length. Or the distance. Okay, for example, if I have x, y plane and this is my vector v and the length is the Oh, sorry, the magnitude is the length or the distance from the initial to terminal. Okay, so messy. Okay, and uh, magnitude is defined to be uh, the double absolute value of the vector v is equal to square root of a square plus b squared. I shouldn't e erase it because, for example, if I have a vector, if I p put it uh, at the uh, position, make it into the position vector, the initial point is here. So the x component is a and the y component is b. So what is the length from the initial to here? You know that b can be moved to here. That means I construct a right triangle. Finding the hypotenuse, so we call that the length. Also we call that magnitude of v is equal to the square root of a square plus b squared because this is the hypotenuse. Uh, so hypotenuse squared is equal to a square plus b squared. So a square root of both sides is square root of a square plus b squared. And uh, let's find the, the magnitude of the vector v, 2 comma negative 4. So 2 comma negative 4, uh, the magnitude of, oh, my typo, I should have, v here is not a so i should put v here okay vector magnitude of v is equal to square root of a square plus b square which is two square plus parentheses negative four squared it is square root of four plus 16 is square root of 20 and uh, this is two square root of five Okay, let's see next example. Looking for the vector, but I don't have the x, y component form. I have the initial point and terminal point. So find a vector from p sub 1 to p sub 2. It's looking for the vector p to, uh, sorry, p sub 1 to p sub 2. Can you express the p sub 1? Uh, p sub 2 into the component form? Yes, use the terminal minus initial so we have six minus negative three comma five minus two do the computation it is nine comma three uh, if i have uh, the vector in the component form nine comma three the magnitude of p uh, p1 p2 is square root of 9 squared plus 3 squared. 
So it is eighty one plus nine is ninety. So square root of ninety is equal to square root of nine times ten. Separate the nine and ten. So we have three square root of ten. So magnitude is three square root of ten. Find a unit vector in the direction of a given vector. A unit vector is a vector that has a length of magnitude one. So it only shows you the direction. Uh, it will not give、uh, give you any information about the magnitude, how long it is, but it that's enough to point out where to go or what is the direction. For any non-zero vector v, the di Uh, the vector u is the direction, uh, unit vector. Sorry, unit vector. Uh, u is equal to, uh, the vector u divided by magnitude of u. We call this, uh, unit vector. Okay, let's see. Find a unit vector in the direction of v. So here. So for any non-zero vector v, so here must be be v. So v over magnitude of v. You shouldn't use u, uh, because u is the symbol describing the unit vector. It's not the vector v. So maybe、uh, I copy this definition from the textbook, and、uh, it cannot recognize.、Uh, The letter, it shows u, but this is a v. Okay, find the unit vector in direction of v. So the v is three comma negative four. So the what is the unit vector? Let's find the magnitude of v first. Magnitude of v is square root of three squared plus negative four squared. And then we have nine plus sixteen,、uh, is twenty five. So, magnitude of v is five, and unit vector u is equal to. Unit vector is also a vector, so it has the x component and y component. For the x component, I'm using the v the v's x component three divided by magnitude. Which is five, and、uh, the y component using negative four divided by mag neg magni magnitude five. So this is the formula. Okay, let's move on. So this is the unit vector v. Uh, principal unit vector. The vector i is defined by. Uh, i is equal to one comma zero, and the vector z j is defined as j is equal to zero comma one. So these two, i and j, they are two unit vector, but it has a special direction. For example, if I have x y plane, so the i direction is pointing to the east or the positive x direction. This is i. The distance is one. So. You measure it. The distance is one, and the y is a vertical component. So, so I didn't say I shouldn't say y. I should say j. So j is a vertical component or vertical vector. It's pointing to the ceiling, uh, pointing to the positive y direction, and the length is one. So the. So distance or the magnitude is one. We can use i and j to describe all of the vectors. For example,、uh, if I have the v is equal to the component form a comma b, and in the i j form, so i is the、uh, x direction. So I'm using a times i, and then plus b times j. So A comma B in the vector form can be described、uh, as the i j form. Okay, find the unit vector in the direction v. Uh, is two comma negative one in i j form. I really want to find the unit vector first, and then find it into the a j form. 
What is the un、uh, unit factor formula? Finding the u, I must have my v divided by magnitude of v. So let's see what is the first. Let's find what is the magnitude of v. Is square root of two squared plus negative one squared, which is square root of five. Second, let's describe the u. The vector u is com uh in the x y component form is the x component. So use two divided by square root of five, and then use the x divided by ne uh square root of five. Negative one over square root of five. So this is a unit vector. But describing the unit vector in the ij form, so u is equal to a times i, which is two square root of five i plus b negative one over root five times j. Uh, because positive negative make a negative. So u is. Two square root of five i minus one over square root of five j. If I have vector vector v, I can express my vector v into the component form a comma b. A is x component. B is the y component. I can move the a b and the vector v into a right triangle. But now my、uh, question is: I know the length of、uh, magnitude of v. That means length of the vector from the initial point here to the terminal point here, and I measure that this distance, for example, is、uh, magnitude of v. So that means our、oh, given information is magnitude of v, and also another information is the angle between uh the initial side because we know that the initial side is here. We are doing the counterclockwise rotation to find terminal side, uh of the angle or the vector. So this angle is theta. So given uh the magnitude of v and the angle theta, I'm looking for the v in the component form. What is my a? What is my b? So a b they are now given. The given information is theta and、uh, the magnitude of v. So find how to find the question mark. Okay. So in this right triangle, in this right triangle. Can you list the relationship between the a and the、uh, the magnitude of v? Yes, because the cosine theta is equal to adjacent, which is a over magnitude of v. And how about uh, uh, the b? So b is equal. Uh, so in the b equation, we have sine theta is the opposite, which is b. Divided by magnitude of v, and then can you rewrite the a? So both sides multiply by magnitude of v. So a is equal to magnitude of v multiplied by cosine theta, and b is equal to magnitude of v multiplied by sine theta. Now I can express my v in the component form a comma b. So the v is, uh, it is, uh, magnitude of v multiplied by cosine theta, comma, magnitude of v times sine theta. How about convert it to the ij form? Ij form is the a i plus b j. Uh, so my cosine、uh, sine theta doesn't have the theta, so let's put the theta back. So let's convert it to the ij form, which is magnitude of v times cosine theta i plus magnitude of v times sine theta j. So let's memorize this formula. We will use it in the following examples. 
Find the vector with the given information. Write your answer in the form of the IJ form. Given the magnitude of V is eight and the angle theta, so theta is given, uh, is a forty-five degree. So we maybe we can make a sketch. You don't have to make a sketch, but we prefer to have a sketch. This is a ve vector V, and the angle is forty-five. And the magnitude of V is eight. So finding the V in the AJ form, V is equal to the formula is magnitude of V times cosine theta, which is forty five degree, multiplied by I plus magnitude of V, multiplied by sine forty five degree times J. And uh, what is the magnitude of J V eight eight times square root of two over two because cosine forty five is square root of two over two i plus magnitude of v times root two over two j so do some simplification we are having four square root of two i plus uh four why I didn't replace this one with eight this is eight so four times square root of two J, uh, you can also plug in the value of the square root of two. So square root of two is about, uh, uh, so one point four one four. So if you gave me this answer, you get full credit. If you want to plug in the exact value, uh, if I uh, plug in the value, the decimal value of square root of two, uh, you are going to have five point six six i plus. Five point six six j, uh, so round it to two decimal places. Okay, let's move on. Given the uh, uh, magnitude of v is ten, the angle theta, uh, so is two forty. So where is the vector v starting? Initial point, uh, initial side is here, and then we're rotating counterclockwise. So I must have my angle in the, ooh, in the third quadrant. So this is my V. And this angle is two forty degree because here is one eighty, and here is two seventy. So the V finding. The v vector v is magnitude of v times cosine theta times i plus magnitude of v times cosine sorry sine theta times j, so ten times cosine two forty degree times i plus ten times uh sine two forty. Degree times j. What is the cosine two forty and sine two forty? So for the angle two forty, what is the reference angle? This is two forty. Two forty minus one, uh, eighty. So this angle is sixty degree. So for the cosine, uh, in third quadrant, a s t c is negative. So cosine two forty is negative. Negative cosine sixty is negative one half. So we plug in one negative one half. And then what is the sine two forty? So in sine two forty, in third quadrant is also negative. A reference angle is sixty. I'm looking for sine sixty degree, which is negative square root of three over two. So plus ten times negative square root of three over two times j. So let's simplify it. It's five. Sorry, negative five i minus five square root of three j. Okay, let's erase this and let's move on to uh, next example. And some of you say, uh, if the question is asking the V in the component form, you don't have to have this. You can have the component form, which is uh, angle brackets, negative 5, comma, negative 5, square root of 3, J. It all depends on the question. Okay, let's see. Uh, example 7. Given the 
uh, the magnitude of Q is 32. Find the angle theta, then write the V uh, in the IJ form. So now it doesn't give us the angle theta, but it gives us a graph. So the graph says this angle is 60. And I know that from the initial to the terminal, the angle theta is equal to 180 degree plus 60 degree, which is 240, like the previous example, 240. And then I'm looking for the V in the IJ form, which is magnitude of Q. Uh, another typo. So this one should be Q. So, so let's erase this. We are looking for the magnitude. Uh, we are looking for the Q uh, in the IJ form. Q is equal to magnitude of Q. And here you see they only have the absolute value sign. So this symbol also represents a magnitude. You can have the just the one straight, a two straight line or four straight line. Okay, they all have the same meaning. So magnitude of Q times cosine to 40 degree times I plus magnitude of Q times sine to 40 degree J. And then we plug in the, the value 32 and uh, negative one half plus 32 times negative square root of 3 over 2j. Don't forget the i and j. So we're going to have negative 16i minus 16 square root of 3j. In the uh, component form is negative 16 comma negative 16 square root of 3. Okay, let's see example 8. Given that the magnitude of q is 10, that means from here to here, the distance is 10. The distance is 10. And then find the angle. The angle is not given, but uh, we can find it from the image. So we, uh, uh, we can put this Q, this factor, uh, vector, uh, at the... Uh, so at the position initial point at zero comma zero. So let's make a x y plane. So this is y. This is the x. So for this angle, can you find the angle theta from the initial to terminal? So some of you say from here to here is two seventy. Two seventy plus sixty. Uh, yes, that's also a good idea. So finding the theta, theta is equal to 270 plus 60 is 330 degree. Okay, so how about uh, uh, the vector V? Why I keep saying the V? This is Q because inside it is Q. All right, I will modify that on the lecture notes. So the Q, vector Q is magnitude of Q is 10 times cosine 3, 30 degree i, plus 10 times sine 3, 30 degree j. What is a cosine 360? So it's here. So this is 360. What is a reference angle? 30 degree. So for the cosine 3, 30 degree, in fourth quadrant, pole cosine is positive. Is cosine uh, 30 degree positive, which is square root of 3 over 2. So 10 times square root of 3 over 2, i. And then plus 10 times sine, 30, uh, sine 330 degree. In the fourth quadrant, sine 330 degree is negative of a sine. Reference angle is 30. So it's negative 1 half. 10 times negative 1 half. Uh, times j. So simplify the expression. We have 5 square root of 3i minus 5j. So this is the expression in the ij form. Okay, let's see. Direction angle of a vector. So this part, I gave you the xy component form of the vector. Uh, we are looking for the angle. So how to find the angle here? 
I say theta. So I know the x component is a, and then in this in here we say this is a b, uh, which is a y component of the vector v. So, uh, so list the relationship between the theta a and b. So tangent theta is equal to opposite, which is b over a, opposite over adjacent. So, uh, if I'm looking for the theta, I just want to find what is the, so maybe it's not theta, so we can use different uh, notation. So we say alpha. So alpha is equal to inverse of b over a. Why I put the alpha here, not the theta, because if it's in other quadrant, if it's in, in the fourth quadrant, maybe I can um, not use my calculator to find the theta. So find the alpha first, and then find the angle theta. Because using our calculator to find the inverse of the tangent, you can only find the angle in the first quadrant and the fourth quadrant. In the first quadrant, the angle is positive. In the fourth quadrant, the angle is negative. So if I have a V, uh, is 3 comma 4. So we, we should graph it first. We like to graph it first. X component is 3. Find 1, 2, 3 on the X, uh, X axis. So for example, this is 3, this is 4. So this is the vector V. And we are looking for the angle theta. Yes, it's in first quadrant. I can use my calculator. So tangent theta is equal to B over A, which is 4 over 3. And the angle theta is the inverse of tangent 4 over 3. Okay, we can use our calculator to find the solution. So inverse is tangent, uh, inverse of tangent 4 divided by 3. And then hit enter, so it's about uh, uh, 53.13 something. If I uh, only keep two decimal places, uh, we are going to have 53.13. Uh, let me ask you, did you check your mode of your calculator? So this is the uh, angle in the degree measure or the radian measure. I don't know. Let's check our mode. Let's click mode. Yes. My degree has been highlighted. That means my 35.13 is the degree, not the radians. Okay, let's come to our lecture notes. So we can approximate the angle theta's value is 53.13 degree. And next one, let's find the angle in the degree mode. So let's graph the V first. Uh, the V is negative 5, positive 5. For example, this is negative 5. This is positive 5. This is terminal point. So this is the angle. And the, the angle theta is uh, in second quadrant. is an uh, uh, obtuse angle. It's greater than 90 degree. OK, how to find the theta? So uh, tangent theta is equal to uh, tangent theta is equal to uh, b over a, which is 5 over negative 5, which is negative 1. Okay, well, this is a, a easy angle because I know that if tangent is negative 1, the reference angle must be 45 degree. Uh, that means on my graph, this angle is 45 degree. Okay, how about the angle theta? So theta is equal to 180 minus 45 degree, which is 135 degree. So we found our theta in the degree measure. Okay, how about the next example? So V is negative 2, comma uh, negative 7. Let's graph the V first. So the V is in third quadrant negative 2, and uh, then negative 7. Let's say this is the, okay, not very accurate. So this is the, the uh, vector v. And I'm looking for the theta from the initial to the terminal. So we say tangent theta is always equal to uh, 
the b over a is negative seven over negative two, which is seven over two. This is not a special angle. I must use my calculator to find the inverse of seven over two, where's the inverse sign. So let's do the computation. So second tangent seven divided by two hit enter is forty seven point zero five. Let's say uh sorry, not forty seven, seventy four point zero five. Okay, let's go back to here. It's about seventy four point uh zero five. I have really bad memory. Yes, zero five degree but can i say this is my angle theta no let's see my angle theta is more than 180 degree so what is this angle so this angle when we are using the calculator finding the uh the inverse of tangent i can only find the angle in first quadrant or second quadrant if this number is positive so my angle is in first quadrant and this angle is also the reference angle so that's the reference angle here so if i have reference angle which is 74.05 degree so plus 180 that is the theta's value so theta let's remove this is equal to 70 74.05 degree plus 180 degree so it is a uh, 254.05 uh, degree okay that's very interesting next one let's find the the vector first three comma negative eight so for example this is three and negative eight is here so draw the vector so this is a vector v i'm looking for the angle theta from the initial to terminal so the tangent theta is equal to uh, negative 8 divided by 3 and then we are looking for the inverse of negative 3 sorry negative 8 over 3 so let's use our calculator tangent that uh, inverse tangent second tangent negative 8 over 3 hit enter so we're going to have a negative 69.44 okay so my calculator gave me negative 69.44 degree so what is this so it is my calculator can only give me the angle in first and second quadrant for the inverse tangent. If this value is negative, I must have my angle in fourth quadrant here. So this angle is negative uh, 69.44. Okay, that means this angle is negative uh, 69.44. If they have the same terminal side, how to find the positive angle? I can add uh, one, I can add one full cycle, which is 360 to find the angle theta. So finding the theta, I can add 360 degree on this angle, negative angle. So uh, it's about, so we can use our calculator to do the computation. So this one with plus 360. So it's uh, 290.56. So it's 290.56 degree. If I say round it to integers, no decimals, we say 291 degree. It all depends on the question. And some of you say, uh, why teacher, uh, you know you add 360? Because that's a coterminal. Uh, you can add 360, make a positive angle. Uh, you can also say, if I know this angle uh, is negative 69.44 so the reference angle the positive angle here is positive 
69.44. I can use 360 minus 69.44. You got the same solution. Yes, we can do either way. Resultant factors. Resultant factor is the sum of two or more factors. For example, if I have two vectors v and uh, w, v is a comma b and w is c comma d, the resultant uh, vector is v plus w, which is a plus c comma b plus d we also want to find the direction angle of the resultant vector okay let's see the first example if i have two forces so two the forces uh, are the vectors magnitude is given is 30 newton and the another one is 70 newton uh, and the direction angles they are 45 degree and 120 degree uh, with the positive x-axis. Find the direction and magnitude of resultant force. So we are looking, so if the first force, we say it is the vector v, and another force is the vector w, we are looking for the v plus w, uh, maybe in the component form or maybe in the ij form, so ai plus bj, and then look for the theta. Uh, which is the uh, inverse of tangent b over a so let's see maybe we can graph it first so let's graph first uh, uh the first uh, vector is uh the angle is 45 the 45 and the, the length is uh, 30 newton or the magnitude is 30 newton v and another one is 70 newton and the angle is 120 so the second one is okay is the angle in second quadrant so, so here and uh, the length is 70 let's see this is w we're looking for the consultant which is the uh, v plus w so what is the uh, what is the v in the ij form or uh, in the xy component form it gives us the magnitude and the angle so we can uh, use the magnitude 30 multiplied by cosine 45 i and then 30 times sine 45 degree J. So simplify this expression. It is, uh, so it is fifteen square root of two i plus fifteen square root of two j. And how about uh, w? W is seventy times cosine, uh, one twenty degree plus. Oh, don't forget your i plus seventy. Seventy times sine. 120 degree j so we plug in cosine uh, 120 and the sine 120 degree uh, in this expression so cosine 120 is negative one half so we're going to have negative 35 i and uh, sine is positive square root of three over two so is uh, adding 35 square root of three j so what is the v plus w so we can add the i part together we can add the uh, i part together and the j part together add these two these two together we're going to have 15 square root of 2 so plus 35 ne uh, plus negative 35 is minus 35 this is i plus j is 15 square root of 2 uh, plus 35 square root of 3j so we're done if you want to find them into the xy component form you say is 15 root 2 minus 35 comma 15 root 2 plus 35 square root of 3 okay so how about the angle angle the tangent theta is equal to the b over a so it's 15 square root of 2 plus 35 square root of 3 all divided by 15 root 2 minus uh, minus 35 
we can use our calculator to find the inverse. So the inverse is inverse of tangent all of this. So we should copy it. 15 square root of 2 plus 35 root 3 over 15 root 2 minus 35. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's use our calculator do the computation. Uh, we are going to have inverse uh, second tangent. On the top, we have two terms. Let's use the parentheses. So it is 15 square root of 2 second square root of 2. And then move the cursor uh, plus 35, 35 square root of 3, square root of 3. And then move the cursor, close the parentheses. This is a top. And divide it by the denominator. Denominator also has two terms. So let's use parentheses. It's 15 times square root of 2. And move the cursor, uh, minus 35, minus 35. And close the parentheses. This is a parenthesis for the denominator. Close another parenthesis. That's the parentheses for the inverse. So hit enter. Okay, this is a, a negative angle, which is negative 80.43. If I just keep one decimal place, you can keep more decimal places. So I found that uh, the inverse of this one is equal to, so a, it's not exact answer, is equal to negative 80. Point four degree. We know that if I'm looking for the ne so inverse of negative, uh, uh, sorry, inverse of tangent negative number, I must have my angle in fourth quadrant in this quadrant. That means um, I found my angle here. How about the angle from here to here? I can add 180 degree. Okay, let's draw more. Uh, better. So my calculator gave me the angle that's that is the at negative angle negative 80.4. If I'm looking for the angle, uh, this one, so based on this terminal side plus 180, so I can find my uh, the theta's value. So the theta is equal to is equal to negative 80.4 degree plus 180 degree. So what is that? So it is about 99.6 degree. So this is the angle. So do we solve the everything? Let's see, find the direction. Yes, direction angle theta is 99.6 degree. And magnitude of the re resultant force. Oh, it's not only asking the resultant force. It's also finding the, uh, the magnitude. So let's say magnitude of the W plus uh, V plus W can be written like this. Magnitude of V plus W. You can also say this is the uh, magnitude of the resultant. Let's say the resultant uh, uh, vector is R. So it's equal to square root of the uh, A and uh, sorry, square root of A squared plus uh, B squared. So let's do this computation. So we have 15 square root of 2 minus 35 squared plus 15 square root of 2 plus 35 square root of 2 squared. So we can use our calculator to do the computation. So we have square root of, what is that? So we have 15 uh, square root of 2 and then plus 35 square root of 3. So move the cursor, close the parentheses, square it. And then plus, uh, so I put the B first. It doesn't matter because I copy the first line of, on my calculator. That's the reason I don't have my uh, B, uh, so A square first. I have my B square first because I copy it. 
uh, on the top. So this is 15 square root of 2. Move the cursor minus 35. Close the parentheses, square it, and hit enter. So it is uh, 82.988. So if I keep three decimal places, so maybe we can keep it. So the previous one keep how many did oh so one one uh decimal place. So if I keep one, I'm going to have eighty three point zero. So if I keep one decimal places, I'm going to have uh eighty sorry, eighty three point zero. See, uh, eighty three point zero, not eighty one. Eighty three point zero. So the magnitude of the resultant is eighty three point zero. If I keep one decimal place, okay. Let's move on to see next application question. And jet, uh, maintains a constant air speed of five hundred miles per hour. How did do west? So we can draw a x y plane, and and where is the west? Okay, so this is the x y plane, and this is the east. This is the west. This is north. This is the south. Uh, so it has a speed five hundred miles per hour. And uh, due to the west, okay, it's going to this direction. This is a vector because it has the direction and the magnitude of 500. So this is the first vector, let's say V, vector V. The jet stream is 100 mile per hour in the south east, easterly. Southeast direction is this direction, right? Uh, did they? tell us any information uh any other information no i didn't so let's see the magnitude is 100 is shorter than this it's too short that means i should have a longer um a longer line segment of 500 so let's make it longer make this one longer So let's say this is a 500, this is V, this is W. And find the resultant vector uh, respond, uh, representing the path of the plane. Or find the uh, resultant. That means I'm looking for the V plus W. So you don't have to have the arrow on top of the vector V and W. What is the ground speed of the plane? What is the direction? Okay, it's looking for the resultant uh, vector. Okay, so what is the resultant vector? I need to find what is the V, what is the W. V is equal to the magnitude 500 multiplied by cosine of the angle. What is the angle? Let me ask you. So from initial to terminal, okay, 180 degree. So we can put 180 uh, degree i plus 500 so 500 times sine 180 degree j simplify the expression we know uh, cosine 180 is negative 1 uh, so we have negative 500 i and the sine 180 is 0 so plus 0 times j uh, i don't want to ignore the j part even the uh, the co uh, the coefficient of j is 0 because later we're adding the i part and j part together. And how about the w? So w is in the southeasterly direction. That means uh, it's just in the middle of the south and the east. Okay, so the angle here. So angle here is 45. Here is also 45. What is the actual angle of the theta? Our directional angle. So it is uh, 360 minus 45. That is uh, that is the 315. Okay, let's 
<coughs> write the expression of the uh, vector w. Uh, it is one hundred times cosine three fifteen degree i plus one hundred times sine three fifteen degree j, and the sadly okay put it here all right so next let's evaluate what is the cosine uh 315 so this is in the fourth quadrant the cosine is positive it's square root of 2 over 2 so it's 50 square root of 2i and then plus um in fourth quadrant sine is negative so it's minus 50 square root of 2 J. So we have the uh, V and uh, W's vector. So what is the consultant? So we say V plus W is equal to add the uh, coefficient of the I together, add the coefficient of the J together. So we are going to have negative uh, 500 plus 50 square root of 2i and the plus 0 plus is negative 50 square root of 2j so this is our ij part you can also write them in the um, component form is negative 500 plus 5 root 2 comma negative 5 square root of sorry negative 50 square root of 2 and how about uh, so how about the theta so theta okay i can construct the parallelogram here so we are going to have our resultant to uh, direct uh, direction here okay so the inverse of tangent is b over a it is negative 50 root 2 over negative 500 why is 500 why here is 50 let's see if i have any mistake oh i have a mistake so don't make the same mistake you know where is the problem uh, so it is zero here so here has a zero because I'm thinking missing something. Okay, so the bottom is 500, negative 500 plus 50 square root of 2. And uh, we can use our calculator to do the computation. So don't confuse you. This 50, 50. So let's use our calculator. So we are going to find the second tangent uh, negative 50 second square root of 2 and then move the cursor outside divided by the two terms at the bottom which is 500 uh, then plus 50 square root of 2 move the cursor close the parentheses close the parentheses let's see what is that it's positive uh, 9.3535, uh, let's say is positive uh, 9.35. So this angle is about a positive 9.35. From the picture here, it's obviously no, because you see this angle of the resultant cannot be a positive number, which is uh, just a 0 0.35. It is a big angle, more than 180 degree. So why we have the positive uh, 9.35? Because the inverse of the tangent function only has in only in these two quadrant. So if in first quadrant, uh, it must be the so this part is positive. So that means, uh, I so this nine point three five is the angle I found in the first quadrant. So in the first quadrant here, add another one eighty degree. That is the angle theta. So finding the angle theta, we can use 
nine point three five degree plus one eighty degree. So it is, uh, it is one ninety. Sorry, one ninety. One eighty nine point three five degree. So this is the、uh, this is the angle. All right. How about resultant? So we found the angle is looking for the um the direction angle, and also we need to find the speed. The speed is the magnitude. So magnitude of v and w, v plus w is equal to square root of negative five hundred plus fifty root two squared plus. Negative fifty square root of two squared. So let's use our calculator to do this computation. So clear. So second, uh, power which is square root of two. Uh, we put to the negative five hundred. Uh, plus fifty second square root of two. Move the cursor. Close the parentheses. Square it. Plus negative fifty square root of two. Move the cursor, square it, and then hit enter. So this is a resultant. We can also say say this is the sum, uh, of the w, v and w. Uh, so this is a speed. So let's put the speed here. Is it? Oh, here. Here. So, which question is this? Yes. So I'm not sure why it uh dis my my notes disappeared. So the re resultant, uh, magnitude is uh magnitude of v plus w. So we list that. So it's negative. Five hundred plus fifty square root of two squared plus negative fifty square root of two, all of them squared, and then we used our calculator. Uh, what did what do we have? Uh, four three five point zero seven. So it's four three five point zero seven, and uh, the unit I think it must be miles. Yes, miles. Okay, let's see number three. Number three. Magnitude of the vector f is twenty five, and the alpha is seventy eight. Oh, that means the direction angle of the vector f is seventy eight. The magnitude of g is thirty one, and the beta is one sixty degree, and magnitude of j is sixteen. Uh. So, phi is equal to to forty degree. Find resultant vector. Resultant vector is uh f plus g plus j. Okay, plus j. So we need to find what is the f, g, and j. Then we can find resultant. So the f is equal to. We can make some image here, and then we uh. Find the resultant. So the f is equal to twenty five times cosine, uh, seventy eight degree times i plus twenty five times sine, seventy eight degree j, and uh, so I don't know, and、uh, this is these are not special angles. So I must use the calculator to do the computation. So the J is G is thirty one times cosine one sixty degree I plus thirty five.、Uh, why I'm saying thirty five? My bad. Thirty one, thirty one, thirty one, thirty one times sine one sixty degree J, and、uh, J is equal to, uh, sixteen times. Cosine two forty degree, I plus sixteen times sine two, uh two forty degree J. Okay, so the sum or the resultant is 
f plus g plus j is equal to uh, 25 times cosine. So we can sum up all of the xy, uh, sorry, I, uh, ij part. So, so use the, the sum of the i as my uh, the i part. And then the sum of the, the coefficient of the j is my j part. And in the uh, xy component form, so make it short because i has the i part. So make it short is 25 cosine 78 degree plus 31 times cosine 160 degree times, uh, sorry, plus 16. 16 times cosine 240 degree. It doesn't ask us the graph. So we can just uh, uh, find the consultant uh, and the direction angles. So the y part, uh, it is 25 sine. So let's move it to here. It is 25 sine 78 degree plus 35 times sine 160 degree plus 16 times sine 240 degree. So this is the uh, resultant vector. We found it if we are using our calculator and run it to the two decimal places, uh, we can find the solution. So let's use our calculator, plug in all of this value. So 2 times cosine 78. So we have uh, 2, so 25, 25 times cosine uh, 78 degree, because now we have degree mode, uh, plus 31 times cosine, uh, cosine 160 degree. And then plus 16 times cosine uh, 240 degree. Close parentheses, hit enter. So it is negative 31.93. So let's keep two decimal places. It is negative 31.93. And how about the y part, y component? We can, oh, sorry. Mm, we can add the, all the y part together, uh, which is 25 times sine 78 degree, and then plus, plus 31. So delete 31 times sine uh, 160 plus, so 16 times sine uh, 240 degree. Then hit enter. So it's about uh, 21.2. So 21.2. Let's put 21.2 uh, here. So that's the x and y component. Uh, without having the, the three vectors, I can just draw the image. Uh, we can just find the vector of the uh, resultant, so is negative 31.93. So assume this is negative 31.93. And this one is, po oh, sorry, positive, positive 21.2. This is positive 21.2. So we have resultant vector in second quadrant. That means I'm looking for the theta in second quadrant. So let's use our calculator to evaluate what is the inverse of tangent B over A, which is 21.2 over negative 31.93. So let's use the calculator. So clear uh, second uh, tangent. The top is 21.2 out divided by what? Oh, negative 
point nine three. Uh, so negative, uh, thirty one point nine three. Close the parentheses. So it is the angle negative thirty three point five eight. So let's put the the angle here is negative thirty three point five eight. Is this my angle? No. Look at the angle here. Is the positive angle? It's in second quadrant. It's about. Uh, uh, one hundred something degree, but now we we don't have this positive angle. We have negative angle because our inverse function of the tangent can only give me the angle here or here. If it's negative, so input here is negative. So we have negative angle. So if it is negative, the angle I have found is in uh fourth quadrant. This is negative 33.58. If I'm looking for the angle uh, to the resultant factor here, I need to rotate this one 180 degree, or uh, we can add 180 degree. So let's do this. So the theta is equal to this angle, negative 33.58 degree plus 180 degree. And then we can use our calculator to find that the angle is 146.41 degree. Okay, that's the last question. Okay, let me know if you have any question.